Hi, I'm Ayo Tsunde, Balogun Hizek, Channels TV Evening News Recap for July the 9th, 2021. Bandits have killed 35 persons after an assault on five communities of Faru districts located in Maradun local government area of Zamfara state. Gudan Boshi, Gidan Adamo, Gudan Maidawa, Sony and Wari communities all woke up to the Marauders' invasion in the early hours of Thursday on motorcycles, numbering over 100. According to the State Public Relations Officer, Mohamed Shehu, efforts to reach the affected communities on time proved abortive due to the poor road network. Meanwhile, the six students and two staff members of Nuhu Bamali Polytechnic in Zaria Kaduna State who were kidnapped by bandits have been released. The Public Relations Officer of the Polytechnic, Abdullahi Shehu, who confirmed the development to Channel's television, said the kidnapped students and staff members regained their freedom on Thursday night at an undisclosed location in Kaduna after their parents and relatives negotiated with the bandits. Prophet Timitokwe Joshua, better known as TB Joshua, has been buried amid tears from public figures and his teeming followers. The burial took place today at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos after an interment service and a week-long funeral rites that attracted hordes of people across the globe. On the international scene, Rwanda has said it will send a thousand troops to Mozambique to help the country battle extremist militants wreaking havoc in the north of the gas-rich nation. Rwanda's deployment follows last month's decision by regional bloc, the Southern African Development Community SADC, to send forces to help quell the insurgency. And in sports, the Olympic flame arrived in Tokyo today with just two weeks until the Games opened as athletes and fans mourned the heartbreaking decision to bar spectators from almost all venues over the coronavirus. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us later for fresh updates. I also need Balogun.